Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Infected. And as you can see here, my house looks like Swiss cheese. Um, I've been doing some rearranging. I'm going to be doing some rebuilding. Um, like I mentioned in the last video and the video before that, you, the engagement on this, on this game is absolutely through the roof. I love it. You love it. Let's make some more videos. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and rebuild my building here. I didn't actually like... There's two things I didn't like about this building. I didn't like the way this was the front. Because, I don't know, this feels like more like a backyard. So I'm going to use that as the backyard, and this is going to be the front. Um, I kind of like that a lot more. I've got some stairs going right here. I've got a lot of walls set up. This is going to be the entranceway. And I'm probably going to... I'm going to put another door back here. I don't know where. And I'm probably going to build this out one more set, and I'm going to make a nice deck on the outside. It's also going to have a wraparound deck going around the entire place. Okay? As you can tell, this is going to be a building video. It's going to be a major, major building video. I think what I'm going to do is... I am going to. Uh, I think next episode we're gonna we're gonna get back to um, dealing with the power and stuff. You know, we're gonna mix it up, right? You don't want to do two power things in a row. Eh, sounds good to me. All right, so um, let's see what we got here. So this right here will be the entrance. That's gonna be like that. So that's one, two, one, two, three. That would be four, but it would be four from the door. Does that really bother me that much? I I want more. I want room. I want room. Feeling kind of claustrophobic um, in this building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a doorway right here. And that will go out to the outside um, deck. I mean, I don't really need a doorway right here, but I, I kind of like a front and a back door. Yeah, I kind of like that. Now, I don't know about structural integrity on if stuff is going to collapse up here. And that's got me a little, just a little nervous, right? So I think what we're going to do is, um, yeah, so I was supposed to be over there. So this is going to go back one. Yeah, so this is going to go back one. Unless, nah, I kind of like it like that. So I, I think for structural integrity purposes, I'm just going to start building up from here. And just, I know the entrance is going to be like this. That's not going to change. So let's just go ahead and build up the entrance. we got a lot of tree cutting in our future. It's nice that walls only take uh, four. The uh, foundations take six, but walls only take four. And I've got a good amount of uh, log holders here. Oops, I hate it when I press the wrong button. There we go. Right click, E. All right, so someone asked in the comments for me to talk about my favorite survival games. Um, they listed off a few a few survival games that they own. Basically, they're looking for a new survival game. And I thought this would be a cool um, opportunity to talk about some of my favorite survival games. Uh, my favorite survival game is obviously Seven Days to Die, but this person already owns Seven Days to Die, so fair enough. Um, I actually have a list of survival games that I really love. And... They're kind of, they're not really in any specific order, um, but they're like, these are games I would 100% um, recommend. Oh crap, I forgot, I want to put windows in here. You know what? I'm going to build walls for now, and then what we'll do is, maybe I should just break down the walls and then put windows where I want them to be. Because I never know where I want to put the windows, right? Um, this is going to be the corner. You know what? I'm just going to build the walls, I'll tear them down and put windows in where I want them. It's just easier to do it like that. Anyway, um, these are all PvE-focused survival games, and these are games that I've played in the past that I love to death. Okay, obviously, Seven Days to Die is number one. Um, I love The Forest. I think The Forest is one of the best survival games ever. Maybe my third on the list. Uh, by the way, the second would be Imperion, and it, 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 it kills me inside that I can't get people to watch my Imperion videos. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those games that people would rather play and not, like, you know, watch. Could be the case. I really don't know. Um, but Empyreon does not do well for me, for whatever reason. But it's like my second favorite survival game. It's freaking unbelievable. Uh, what else? Green Hell is a fantastic survival game. Um, I don't know where I would put it on the list, but it's, you know, it's another one of those uh, survival games that I can't get people to watch me play. Um, so, it is what it is. I think, I think Green Hell is because a lot of other people do Green Hell. So, a lot of competition out there for it. Uh, Space Engineers, just fantastic. Space Engineers is hella grindy. takes a lot of time to get stuff done. And I, you know, I was getting some people to watch, but it just, you know, it, it was it was too much grindy. Um, not only is Space Engineers grindy um, itself. Am I out of stamina? Yeah. Not only is uh, Space Engineers grindy itself, but part of the problem with Space Engineers is um, you have to also grind out to learn the, the mods. Space Engineers is really dependent on mods, I think. And, like, a lot of those mods are, you know... They're not confusing, but they do take some time to learn. And you gotta, like, you know, look into them and figure things out. And, you know, that all that time adds up. All that time adds up. The, the, the maddening truth as a YouTuber is uh, time is super duper important. 
Um, you know, and that's just that's just the way it is. All right, there we go. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna put the roof on. All right, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna build this all the way up. I want to build this up to the roof before I tear down any of the interior walls. I don't think there's you know what I could do too. Save. Actually, I could just save and tear down the walls and see what happens. Yeah, the hell with it. We just right, right? Just save. Okay, save twice. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and tear down some walls. I'll get back to the uh, some of the other survival games I love. Because we do get stuff back for these, which is nice. Um, yeah, this one's going to come down. This one's going to come down. That one's going to come out. Alright, pick these up. Um, now nah, I want to do the walls before I finish the... Um, I would like to finish the walls before before I do anything else with the uh, the foundations. Okay, you come down. You come down. You come down. I don't think there's any um, structural integrity in this game, by the way. No, no, don't sleep. Pick that up. Come on, bro. Get your head in the game. Man, you go through a lot of water in this game. Like, I would argue too much water. Uh, I was going to make that basin thing, but as far as I know that, as far as I know that basin thing just collects water and I have a pond right next to me. So am I really going to, you know, use 10 iron ingots for something that I have a pond right next to me? I mean, eventually I'll get it, but it's just not something I, I think I need right now. All right, so let's take this out and let's get rid of you. I'm going to have some problems with the, um with the deck because I'm going to want to put a railing around it and I'm also going to want to put a porch over top of it but that's not going to work uh with the poles I want to put in so I'm gonna to have to think about that I, I, honestly I don't really want to think about it right now though <laughs> I really don't all right I'm gonna leave that staircase where it is although it's not going to stay there and let's continue building out uh this deck is definitely going to be bigger than I have right now let's move this as well I don't know where I'm going to move this can I put it anywhere all right, I'll put it on a wall I know is going to be staying up. All right, so this one comes out. And this one comes out. You could make a floating base, honestly. That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> oh, I need to put this stuff... Come on, pick it up, bro. I don't have three on me, do I? No. Sometimes, it's, it, sometimes it gets buggy and you can't pick up the third. It's happened to me before. So my sleep schedule in this game right now is go to sleep around 9 or 10, wake up at 12.30 because of the blood moon, and then I can go to sleep again around 4 or 4.30. And it seems to be working okay. It's kind of annoying not to be able to go to sleep because I want to pass the night, but you know what? It really gives me a lot of time to chop logs, okay? And I've also got a much better idea of the way I'm going to do this build. Um, first of all, you see where the little... um. You see where this part is up here and this part is down here? I think I'm going to leave that. I think... <laughs> you guys are a real pain in my ass, I swear to God. Okay, dickhead. Yeah, you hit me, my ass, you hit me. Cheater! <laughs> I hate those guys. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Um, I'm going to pull this out one more spot, probably. Or maybe I'll pull this spot in. I'm not really sure. Um, but I do like, the, I do like, what I like about this is it's not so boxy because you got this part that comes over and then this part and it makes it look more, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. I just know it looks better. Okay. And then this right here is going to be, uh, a three wide porch and with a three wide porch up there, or actually I think this is going to be a three wide porch down there and I'm just going to expand the base up there. Yeah, actually that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to break this out, and this is going to be inside. Uh, so the top is going to be a lot bigger. So this will have a little porch in the back underneath, and then this will just be out like this. And I might I might make a wraparound porch on top. I might not, but that's that's for future builds. Um, for now, let's just get built what we got. Uh, there we go. Come on. All right, let's build it up, guys. Let's build it up. I got most of the windows where I think they're going to be. I think I'm going to put another window right there. But I'm going to leave it alone for now. Right there, I got the windows right there. They match up with the windows over here. And again, I think one window right there would be really nice. Um, right in the middle of the walkway area. I think that'll look pretty good. I think this place is going to look good. The only thing that's going to screw me up, and it's really going to bother me, is the fact that I can't put those 
pillars where I want, but I, I just, I don't know. People give me some ideas and they were like, oh, you just got to move it around and finagle it and stuff. And I did that off camera for quite a while. I couldn't get them. <laughs> I couldn't get them where I wanted them to be. Okay, we are probably low on hit points. Eh, 85, not too bad. Just leave it alone for now. All right, so let's go ahead and... I keep re pressing right right mouse button to pick them up off the ground because I'm used to, like, picking wood up out of the, you know... I'm used to picking up wood out of the, the log holders. So, like, now I'm just right-click, right-click, right-click. I'm not doing anything. All right, let's get back to my list of survival games, all right? Mist. Mist is another good survival game. Um, the developer of Mist is, you know... He's having some issues, man. Like, he's just... um He's having some issues at that game. Uh, it's a, it's a solid game. It's a really awesome survival game, but the developers having problems with updates. They, they take a while, even, you know, they take a while and, you know, he's having some issues. Although I would still, I would still call Mist a quality. Really, really good, um, survival game. Um, you know, definitely really good. I'm playing it right now. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't like it. Uh, what else? Oh, Stranded Deep, man. Stranded Deep is one of the solid survival games out there. And it's another instant, it's another instance of I can't get people to watch me play it. I don't know why. It's just certain games. Although, <coughs> that whole you can't get people to watch you play it thing comes and goes. Um, there was a time where I couldn't get people to watch me play Subsistence, and now it gets a ton of views. So, I'm going to get back to these games and give them another shot. And if people watch them, I'll, I'll bang them out, you know? But I need people to watch them because um, I need the engagement. I really do. Um, I mean, it's not like it's not like I'm playing games I don't like. Because of lack of engagement. It's not like I'm playing Fortnite or something. You know? Um, I just... I, I love all of these games. Um, but as a YouTuber, I gotta play with, with the engage where, where the engagement is. What people want to see. You know? And um, believe me, the fact that I can't play Imperion is killing me just as much as it is Imperion fans. Alright, what else? Raft. Raft is an excellent, excellent survival game. Oops. There we go. Uh, Conan Exiles. Fantastic surviving. All right, this is bugged. Yeah, I'm pretty bugged here. I don't know what I need to do. Oh, you know, I could probably get rid of this by picking up another log. There we go. Okay, beautiful. All right. So let's grab this one and let's finish up all the. Let's finish up all this roofing. I'm gonna need to put in some more. So we'll put one right there. Is that facing the right way? Uh, it's not. Now it is. Uh, yes, and yes. Alright, cool. Let's finish up all this roofing. Alright, this place is starting to shape up a little bit. Um, oh, crap. Oh, so you told me if I move it with the pan, I lose the pan, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Ooh, thank goodness. I would have to make another pan. Yeah, so, uh, he must have fixed that. Sarlock, oh yeah, I gotta move, yeah. All right, whatever. Let's just move stuff out of the way so we can get around a little bit easier. And I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking that. Now, do I want to expand? You know, I think I'm going to expand this side and make it one, two, three, four, five on top as well. I think that's going to look pretty freaking dope. I'm not going to lie. I think I think this is going to this is going to come out really really nice. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. But you know what? This game's awesome. You guys are loving it, and let's just do it, man. All right, so we gotta take this out and this, and let's pick those up and put those. Yeah, it's gonna come all the way to here. That's pretty far. That's that's pretty far. Do I do I want that to be exactly lined up out here? You know, yeah, I kind of do actually. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah, that top rooms the the room up here is gonna be bigger than the you know I I. The rooms I want, all right, I want a bedroom, I want a crafting room, and I want a, um, a, a hold on, I need to drink, because what's new, right? Drink every freaking two seconds. He should allow us to drink, like, until full, right? Or something like that. There we go. All right, we're looking better. All right, now, what was I saying? I don't freaking remember. Oh, yeah, so, the the rooms. Okay, so, this this bottom room right here... Is going to be storage and only storage. It's going to be a bunch of um, chests and it is going to be um, those, uh, what are they called? Weapon racks or I haven't made one in a while. I forget what they're called. 
I think they're called weapon racks. Yeah, weapon racks. I'm going to have weapon racks, like, out the ass. Because, like, I'm going to, like, mass-produce tools. Because tools break really quick. And I hate having to, like, craft them again. So it would be so cool to just, like, have a weapon rack of a bunch of tools. You know? I think that would be pretty pretty slick. Um, do I want this? Do I could do a deck out here. Yeah, I could do a deck. I don't really need all this room. More room's always better, but... All right, so let's take that apart. Let's take that apart. Get you out of there. All right, so this, this floor is definitely going to be here. There's no doubt about that. So we could definitely complete that floor. And then we're going to need another floor right here. And I think that's it for up there. Yeah, yeah. So right there, I've got the deck and I've got a three side. Yeah, the three side lines up perfectly. The three side lines up perfectly. So what I'm going to do is... I think I'm actually going to leave the deck out here. Um, I could just make a wrap. No, I can't because this is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be built out completely. Um, I could have a... I could have a deck on the second floor around the entire... De oh, God. Come on, Cage. It's never going to end. All right. You know what? Let's just stay focused for now. Let's stay focused on this one... This one set of building things. And we'll just go from there. Because um, I've got some ideas of what I want to do, but they're going to be um, future building projects because this is going to be too much at this point. All right, so that comes out to here. All right, so you go... Should I do it on the, just like the front? All right, I got something that's going to work for now. I'm eventually going to remodel this place a little bit more later on, but for now this will do. And let me show you what I got going on here. I kind of like that. Honestly, it's part of the wall. It's part of the outside. Could make this the kitchen. Hmm. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I can make this like the kitchen and have it kind of open a little bit. You know? Like, uh, I don't know what matters. Put that there. Um, actually, I could even leave that one there. And put the stove. Nah, see, the stove won't work up here. Because the stove, you could see, yeah, having an open outside thing is not going to work because of that thing. Yeah, that doesn't work. Although I could just put it on the side here. And then... Did I put that wall down backwards? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I could just put the stove right here. And then have this little outside area here. That's not too bad. I also put the door right here. And then what I could do is... I could put some ceilings up here. Come on. Uh, like that. And like that. And then... One right here, well, well, eventually, I have to make what's up there first, but... Yeah, and have that as, like, a little kitchen. I kind of like that. Um, the kitchen area will be open. I don't want the entire base open, though. So that could just be a kitchen area. This thing's going to come out. Yeah, this this uh, place is really starting to come along. Uh, this is definitely going to be made. And this is going to come out. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe not. You know what? How about this? Maybe even use interior walls. Although I can't make interior uh, interior walls that are... Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'd want that to be a door. See, it's not going to... Oh, yeah, I could do interior door wall. Yeah, door. Okay, so I'm thinking... Uh, do you want the door on the opposite? Oh, it's not going to line up properly anyway. So we could put the door right here. And then put this interior wall right here. Okay, so... Bottom floor, like I said, storage, um, weapon racks, storage, drop chest, stuff like that. Maybe even stone things, I don't know. We have a lot of room here to play with, all right? Um, right now, I'm going to leave the forges down here for now, but I would like a forging room. And this metal stove will eventually go upstairs, right? And, you know, I could probably move this right now. There's no reason not to. Let's do it. So we're going to put this up here, and then this will go right here. Yeah, yeah, that works. Um, or I could put it over here. Nah, I like it here. I like the idea. I like the idea of the stove being next to an area that's open. And the only thing I would like to do is I would like to um. It doesn't look lined up, does it? Oh, it's inside the wall. <laughs> All right. Well, for now. For now, we'll just put it right here. But we'll eventually line that up with the wall properly. I like the idea of this being open, but I don't like the idea of rain being able to come in here. Like, you know, when it's rainy and windy. Um, so that's why we're going to have a roof over top there. And then that way, um, the rain shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I kind of like this. 
I kind of like this. I like it the way it's open. This is really... Yeah. Yeah, all right. And then um, this right here. I don't know what this could be. Maybe we can make this like a um, forge area. Would that, oh, yeah. We can make that a forge area. Why not? Ugh, because we got to take this stuff out of here. Man, this is really coming along. I'm really happy with how this is coming along, actually. Very few times in a build does stuff work so well. I would like shelving units for these, by the way. You know, we're doing subsistence with the shelving units. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, oh, this is supposed to even be farther over. Crap, I didn't even realize that. Okay. Well, let's move that right there. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. Okay, I don't know where I'm going to put the windows yet, so I'm just going to leave those as ghost images. Um, I'm only going to put stuff where I know exactly the way I want it to be. Okay, I think we're bugged again. Damn it. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, alright. So that stays there. Okay, so this can come over. So, yeah, so we're going we're to do now is we're going to put a... Do we want to put interior walls? Yeah, these are going to be interior walls. Well, I can't put interior windows... But I don't need a window there, so it's fine. That's going to stay the way it is. Let's go ahead and put an interior wall in here. That's not an interior wall cage. There we go. And one right there. Now, why do I have things here? I don't know. I could put storage there. Yeah, it's a good idea. Put storage there. Yeah, this is coming out nice. Like, right here. Look. I mean, look at that. Boom. Firewood for the... I mean, there's tons of stuff I could put up here. All right, so that's good. So we got the... Um, Things right there. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to put those over here now. Because I couldn't fit all five. But now that the now that the room's gotten bigger, I can fit all five. Okay. I think we've got a lot done today. I'm going to finish up some walls up there. Um, and I'm going to show you the forge room. Okay. There we go. Oop. Damn. <laughs> Wrong button there, Cage. There we go. Now, do I want these to be windows? You know, I kind of think I do want those to be windows. But I want them to match the windows that are downstairs as well. But they won't. Um, you know what? I'll put a window on the corners. Uh, that could not be a window. I mean, I could put two windows there. That's the middle. So yeah, let's put windows on the corners. I do want windows by the forges. Okay. So that means that this is going to go. And this is going to go. Pick up the logs. And put some windows down in there. Uh, is it going to let me? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get over there? Uh, ah, I thought I could do some hardcore parkour there. Okay, so you can see how the forges are going to be, right? I got the little thing there. This is going to be all chests. You need a lot of chests for the forge, for the forges, because of um, all the ingots and stuff. They don't stack, so that's why I wanted um, more room for the chests. Right, let's go ahead and build this up. And where is the rest? Oh, here we go. I knew I had some logs somewhere. All right. And then take you. And there we go. So basically today we made the front door our back door. And the back door our front door. And is that good? Yeah, we don't want to. That's not going to be a. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, the hell with it. <laughs> the hell with it. So I'll just stack up the chest over here. Stack up the forges over here. I probably won't put any more forges. Uh, you know what else I could do? It'll look pretty slick. Like that. Yeah. I like these railings, man. I'm having a good time with these railings. I really am. Really, really am. But, guys, I am going to have to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.